so this is how my uh, my layout looks from the bottom side and uh, the reason I'm showing you the bottom today is because we're going to do it again from the scratch and the reason why I'm going to do it again is one it has become very messy reason number two I want to do more DCC stuff like sensors and automatic uh, train dispatching and uh, adding some automation to my layout is what I want to do and for that I must have a proper wiring and everything properly labeled so that it that it is much easier for me to uh, keep adding things uh, in my layout in the future as I progress so that's the reason I'm going to do it again uh, one thing you'll notice that uh, we have that extra two inches uh, layout extension here which I did recently uh, because I wanted to add another straight track on the top uh, you'll see that in my uh, next video with, when I will be showing you that that addition and the modification on my layout uh, this layout which I created had very limitations I didn't have any freedom of going to the market buying things and adding to the turnouts like I don't have any access to the supplies for the model trains here in India it becomes very difficult for me to do anything that I want to do because then I'll have to order that particular thing from any other country where it is easily available and then wait for the delivery and it takes around maybe 15 days month or anything like that so it's a it's very long duration that you have to wait for anything particularly that you uh, think that you need in your layout uh, so the solution is do it yourself that's the only solution I have find things that you can do yourself and I think it is almost everything that you can do by yourself in model railway whether it is a controller the DCC controller uh, see this one there is a there is a standard for the DCC++ controller which you can build by yourself and it's very easy to build then you have to buy the servos obviously you have the option to uh, make these servos as a uh, point motors so having servos is much cheaper only one dollar for one servo and I think it works perfectly for my layout so that's the other thing which we can do by ourselves now the signal um, as you many of you know that I have done signals by myself uh, by doing some 3d printing and by doing some electronic stuff uh, you can build a very good looking I would say a very great looking and a prototypical signals and scale signal by yourself uh, you can watch that video on the left side here I will I will have it somewhere here so you can you can have uh, signals and then you can also build portals uh, in 3d uh, printing uh, which I also have a video here somewhere linked where I have showed you the process of designing uh, the portals in 3d max and then uh, the process of designing also the process of uh, preparing the models for the printing and doing the actual printing doing some painting works feathering all that stuff that you can see on my channel so that is also uh, possible now uh, I also did some utility poles they also turn out to be very good so look they also look very good um, I'll have one update on that uh, in my future videos um, because I have found some good stuff on the on the utility pole so I'll be updating that video but for now you can watch my previous utility pole video what else you have I mean you have to use the grass which is a static grass you can create a static grass uh, applicator by yourself uh, you can watch Luke Towns video for that he does really great stuff on um, model uh, I mean dioramas and model railways and everything like that so he's a really good model you can you if you must be familiar with that with that guy and if not then you must watch that guy's videos um, that's really good stuff uh, for anyone who is doing model railway well you need locomotives you need tracks basically that is the basics of your layout which you need to buy you cannot do that yourself you, you cannot make tracks you cannot make locomotive okay not not at least for the n scale people do 
uh, make the locomotives for HO, which is a bigger scale, and it's maybe possible, but for N scale, I don't think it's possible to make locomotives by yourself. So, well, that's not <coughs> that's not possible. Uh, so you have to have locomotives, rolling stock, and tracks, and from there you can do pretty much everything by yourself if you have all these three, three things. So uh, I don't want to take uh, much of your time uh, so that's the things i wanted to discuss with you and uh, we'll uh, see you in the next video and we'll start uh, on our layout uh, electronics and everything uh, from scratch so see you in the next video thanks bye